guys, Jen here from Ann and Such and Such Abbey Scented. I'm making a custom order for beach scented soap. Uh, I've done this one before on camera, obviously, but you know, it's a remake for somebody, and um, I've not made a video in a couple of weeks. So, there you go. I am making a video doing the heat transfer method. Uh, somebody was asking in the group uh, how I go about adding my silk. My silk is in the Y water. I add the silk to my water and initially. Let me get some water here for my stick blender. Okay. So, I, you know, I measure out my water, I add the silk directly to the water, and, you know, kind of lets it soak in the water a little bit. I also cut it up in little bitty pieces, so it's small pieces. And then, uh, generally, when I add my lye to my water, and then, you know, I stir it, well, generally within one or two minutes, it's completely dissolved. I don't need to sit and wait <clears throat> for a long time and wait for it to cool down or you know anything like that. It generally dissolves pretty quickly when you cut it into small pieces like that. So I am actually have another custom order to do and it's monkey farts. Uh, it's a cake that I need to do. So um, I'm going to take a little bit of this soap batter and fill up this little mold um, to make bananas. You can see them on this side. Um, it's probably only going to take about two ounces away from this whole soap because then things are a little tiny, um, about a quarter ounce or so. So it won't take much uh, away from this soap. And I actually don't have any melt and pour on hand, so um, I need to make my little embeds from cold process. And if you can make them from cold process, it's better in the long run just because um, they won't sweat and your label is um, all the same. But for convenience sake, I like to make my embeds when I do out of melt and pour, just for convenience. So anyways, I'm gonna pause you guys, get this all melted um, to ready to add in our liquid oils and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I actually got my stick blender in there to actually start helping get this broken down because that was one great big chunk of unmelted oil. So we've got our oats and clay down in here. Okay, so we're going to pour that over here. And what I'm going to do once this is all emulsified and I add the coconut milk, I will um, measure out this tiny bit that I need for that little mold. I'm gonna color it blue or yellow, blue, yellow, and get in the, it in there, and then we'll go from there. And if I measure out too much, um, the yellow I'll just put back into the big batch for to help go towards the base. The base needs to be, um, or the bottom layer is going to be like a uh, sandy color, so the yellow will be okay in it. That's what I generally use when I add the milks, is 5% of my oils. So say you have, uh, like this is 110 ounces of oils, uh, I use 5.5 ounces of milk or cream.
and you can just subtract that from your amount of water or if you do a water discount already you don't have to subtract that amount because you know you're already doing a water discount but then you may not no longer be doing a water discount totally up to you all right so that may be plenty of yellow so let's the magic yellow is more of an orangey yellow um so i may mix that in with uh, the goldenrod kind of mix them together it will turn an orangey color at first but it will change back that's why it's called magic yellow it's more of a sun sunny yellow than just a straight yellow so you guys will notice how fast that changes to orange but it will change back to a yellow pour that in this little mold I didn't even use half of what I measured out, which is okay. So, now this is going to use for the base to do our sand. This one I'm going to do a straight line. When I did my pink sands, I did um, a wavy line. This one's going to be a straight line. And we need our sandy color. So, Sure. I gotta remember that this is gonna be a little bit more yellow. See what that color turns out? We'll go from there. I need more brown. It needs to be a darker color because that is going to lighten up on me. This one does rise and accelerate. That's why you don't want to add the fragrance to the end. So you're ready to pour it in your mold. Yes, Noah. Yes, okay. Ooh. Hold on. Cena. Leave Noah alone. Noah's taking a nice warm bath.
He said he wanted to stay in while I made soap. So I said, okay. I'm gonna smack this on the ground. That way it all evens out. Or evens out the best I can. Lots of racket, sorry. All right. I'm going to move this back over here to set. And now we'll work on our topping. So, give me just a minute. I need to get some weight. Alright, so I just rinsed out this container that had the brown in it. We're going to fill it up to do white. And then the rest will be blue. And we'll do our in the pot swirl. So that one's white. I think we're gonna add some turquoise to this one and some blue waters. Make it more sea color instead of just straight blue. No. Gonna have to clean the brown off the top of this stick blender for the most part because I don't want all that in my soap. Be sure if you're ever cleaning your stick blender off your finger is nowhere near the button to turn it on if it's still plugged in. Okay? I have seen so many people about chop the end of their fingers off. Okay, I'm almost done. Let's go ahead and add the fragrance, even though it's gonna set up really fast. I'll have enough time, though. in the pot swirl a pie because we want this to get down in there in that thick soap I need to go slowly you're not? Okay.
so y'all know I'm on my tippy toes. I'm pretty short. I'm standing here at my stove and I'm on my tippy toes. waves on top shall we no particular rhyme or reason once you kind of get it all textured then you can go back and see where you might need to move it around a little where it might need a another little a dip or two all right I think that looks good still have the definition from the white and I'll bring you guys back when we cut this we are back to cut our beach soap so I'm going to trim off a little end piece see how we do the bottom is a little bit darker than I wanted but it's okay how pretty is that let's see about zooming you in so I don't have to pick up every bar yeah, that looks good. Ooh, that's very pretty. Yeah, the sand is a little bit darker. It's still pretty and the sand's got some sparkle to it which is nice I'll show you a close-up of this one see if we can't capture the sparkle yeah we can see it very pretty hi <laughs> this is Noah hi Whoa. Tell him you gotta go back to the doctors today. I got to go back to the doctors today. Yep. And I actually got a bike. It's big. I got a big bike and a little bike. Mm-hmm. 
But I just can't ride it. Daddy won't let me. Why not? Not in the house. On the outside. Right. But he didn't let me ride outside too. When? When me and Austin was riding down. The road? Yeah. Well, that's because you cry when I take you down the road. So you have to walk. You cry and want mommy to carry you and push your bike. I won't let you push my bike. Not next time? No. Okay. But you remember the first time when we was walking? That walk really touched up to me and the walk made me puke. Oh, that's the last part. Yeah, you got sick that one time. Even though the doctor said it would be good to take you out for a walk, it did not end up well. You got sick. Didn't that you? Yeah. I'll get that. Thank you. Let's get the other loaf here behind you. Was that one behind me? Mm-hmm. So this is big. Yeah. We're done with the other. Mm-hmm. We're gonna cut this one. Yeah, uh, I turned snowman too. Oh, you in my camera. Watch out. There you go. You turned snowman what? Into a, into an M and M. But this I can talk to. You're throwing the trash. You're throwing the trash into a sprayer. Duck. You made him crash. Poor snowman, Eminem. Let's just call him Eminem. Okay, poor Eminem. You made him crash. He, he is not. You don't post to say that, but when he trash, he's those like. Uh, oof. I'm okay. <laughs> He's okay. Yeah. Remember that guy on TV said he he failed and he said I'm okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was the funniest part. Yeah. Hi. You know what? The last time we made a video and you talked to people. Everybody said hi to you. Lots and lots of people said hi to Noah. Like, like a whole bunch? Yeah, a whole bunch. I, I showed you some of the comments, read them to you. Lots and lots of people. Why are you clean that thing off? Because it, so it doesn't put it on the soap. And people were saying they hope you feel better. And they was say and they, they and they say bye. Mm-hmm. Do you know this fa do you know Stoneman's Eminem's face is hard? Alright, that was the last bar. You gonna tell him thanks for watching? Thanks. Thanks for watching. Say so we'll see you next time. We'll see you.